for microplastics. So that's different than pieces of trash in the river. So the pieces of trash are like you know, the bottles and the bottle caps and the plastic bags and the big pieces. But what's happening is that the flow and the sediment and all that stuff that's in the water is breaking down the plastic into smaller and smaller fragments. And so we're looking at um, pieces of plastic that are about five uh, millimeters or less. Five millimeters is about <laughs> half of your baby, the width of your baby fingernail. So we um, took recycled materials. So we took a plastic, um, a plastic container and some baby tights and then just some plumbing fitting from a hardware store. And we put it together to make a little DIY microplastic sampling device. And so we have this attached to a rope um, it's attached to a pole, and we're sitting here for about 20 minutes um, collecting as much microplastic that's suspended here in the Chattanooga River um, in that time. They're actually red in color for a reason, because these will actually leach small plastic fibers off of them. Um, and what we want to do is we want to be able to separate those little red fibers. We want to know that the fibers that are in our samples are actually from the pipe, so that's why they're red. If we used white or something, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between what was from our sample and what was from the tights. So they're red for a reason. Um, and then it just has a pipe fitting at the top that's holding this on. And then it's attached by a rope, and we're just holding it in the water, in the flow. Well, and organisms, like, it could be affecting their enzyme activity, you know, how they digest food. Mm -hmm. So there's implications for both organisms and us. But like a lot of plastic manufacturing requires specific chemical additives to make them more recalcitrant to degradation. So things that are stopping like biological degradation in the environment are, are obviously usually pretty environmentally toxic. And so as we have those plastics into the environment, some of, some of the literature has really looked at whether or not those additives inside the plastics leach into the environment, whether it's water or soil, and if that causes issues for water and soil systems and the animals that live there. So we're, we're catching, along with the plastics, we're also catching pieces of organic matter. So pieces of leaves, pieces of algae, um, pieces of sediment, um, all different kinds of stuff. But we're going to go through, we're going to, you know, clean these clean these tights out um, and then we're going to look at what we find under a microscope, separate all the organic stuff that's supposed to be in the river 